All right, meeting your neighbors. Go in high tech. The social network Nextdoor allows neighbors to create private online communities where they can ask each other questions, report break-ins, find a trusted babysitter. The site is so popular in the United States, it is now expanding into Italy and Spain. Joining us right now is the founder and CEO of Nextdoor, Nirav Tolia. Great to see you, Nirav. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Maria. Yeah, congratulations on your entrance into Europe. Tell us what you're seeing in terms of acceptance of uh, Nextdoor in the U.S., and then I want to get your take on why you chose uh, European expansion. Well, from the beginning when we founded Nextdoor, we were hoping that this concept of using technology to create stronger and safer neighborhoods would be a global one. We didn't think that it was just something that Silicon Valley people would use or even just Americans would use. And so here we are seven years after founding the company and we're actually in seven different countries. So outside of the U.S. we're in the U.K., the Netherlands, France, Germany, and then as of last week, Italy and Spain. Very Fantastic. excited wow. about our global expansion plans. Congratulations, John. Nirav, how, how does Nextdoor work? Do you punch in a zip code to connect to your neighbors or how do you, how do you create a network for your community? Well, zip codes are typically a little bigger than what we think of as our neighborhoods. And so when you join next door, you enter your exact street address. And then we have about 700 households around you defined as your neighborhood. It's a private community for you, so you have to verify your address so we know that it's just you and your neighbors. And all of your conversations are private. So it's a little bit like that front, front porch conversation that you used to have in years past, but now with new technology. And what, what are you doing to protect privacy? There's so much concern right now about privacy on Facebook and Twitter. How are you doing it when it comes to your own neighborhood? People don't want us strangers peeking into their doors. Well, one of the really unique things about Nextdoor is that we've thought about privacy by design from the very beginning of the company. Back in 2010, when we came up with the concept, we had this idea that every conversation between neighbors would be completely private and that we would require our residents to verify their addresses so you know that you're speaking with your neighbors. And so while privacy is in the news quite a bit this year and over the last few years, it's been part of our plan from the very beginning. You know when you come on next door that the conversations won't be shared, you won't be able to find them on Google or other social networks, and you know that you're speaking with your actual neighbors. So this has been a priority for the company from day one. What's been most prevalent, real quick, in terms of what neighbors want to know from one another? Well, it starts pretty simple. If you want a trusty babysitter or you need a plumber to help you, next door is a great place to ask your neighbors. If you have a personal request because you've lost a pet or you need some help in your neighborhood, borrowing something or buying or selling something, all the way to absolutely critical things. We obviously are dealing with the tragedy of Hurricane Florence, and Bye. that kind of natural disaster is a great time for neighbors to come together. Nirav, thanks so much for stopping by. Nirav Tolia, check out Nextdoor.